Hello there gear fans, welcome back to the channel. And this is just a quick look at a bunch of knives that I've recently acquired. I've been out of the game for a few months, so uh, got back into it and went on a bit of a spree. So this is just a quick look at each of the pieces uh, that I've acquired. And yeah, just a brief overview of what I think of them just in the week or so that I've had them. So first up, we have the Vero Engineering Axon Mini Frame Lock. Now, I've got to confess, I'm a big fan of Vero Engineering and the knives that they make. This is my fourth Vero piece. And yeah, this is a sensational little piece. I do have its bigger brother. I'll just grab that. Well prepared as always, just to give you an idea of size comparison. There you can see it is quite uh, shrunk down quite a little. Quite a fair bit there. But um, yeah, very impressed with this. It's great action. Uh, titanium frame lock, obviously. M390. OEM as best tech. And this is just a cracking little EDC blade. Really nice piece. Very impressed with it. And the next cab off the rank is the NAFS Lander. Now this is the new version in 14C28N blade steel with micarta handles. And I think the vision that Ben Thompson had is that uh, if you want to change the scales, you can, uh, there's other scales you can buy if you want to. If you've got a 3D printer, you can print your own and go crazy with the designs and change them over. But um, yeah, this is nice micarta. But uh, this is the first time I've handled the lander and it's, uh, yeah, a nice little knife. It fires out there, the, the detent's really dialed in. Good ergos, I get like three and a half fingers on there. Feels good in the hand. Nice little blade. Uh, the original had a D2 blade and I think G10 handles. So just to give us a bit of variety there, different blade steel. This is the first knife that I've had in um, 14C 2018 as well. So it'd be nice to see how that, uh, how that goes. But I believe it's a little bit more corrosion resistant. Than the, uh, than the D2. And yeah, the micarta feels nice as well, but that's another potentially really good little pocketable EDC knife there. And continuing the EDC blades, this is a Kaiser Feist. Little front flipper. This version is in rich light, the handle scales, which is a material I haven't come across before. The blade is in 4V steel, CPM 4V, which again is another steel that I haven't used before. And this is another, you know, relatively small, pocketable little EDC front flipper. Oops, it's front flip only. But um, yeah, very snappy little detent. And quite a, a nice, clean, quite neutral blade design there. In terms of ergonomics, there's um, you know, there's no finger choils or anything like that. You only get just a little cut out there for liner lock access. But again, fits in the pocket really nicely. Pretty unobtrusive clip. Yeah, interesting little blade. And next up is the big brother. This is the Feist XL, which is in 154cm blade steel and black micarta, and that micarta is very grippy as opposed to some of the smooth micartas you get. This is uh, actually has quite a bit of grip on there, which considering the, the lack of any choils or uh, ergonomics or anything like that is, is probably a good thing. This is, as you can see, it's a lot bigger than its little brother. It's just a bit of comparison there. Yeah, so quite a big size difference. If you need something a little bit more substantial, uh, that's that's worth a look at. That's um, but again, like its little brother, really nice snappy detent on the front flipper, fires open, whichever way you open it. And the last of the Kaisers, this is the Sheepdog, which is in blue rich light scales with the some. Um, the hexagonal texture on there. It's a non-flipper, so you just get the 
the hole but um, it opens pretty nicely it's got a decent detent on there 154 cm scale uh, well, sorry 154 cm blade steel and a satin finish and one thing I was quite surprised with this knife is just how big and chonky that that blade is so I know that they have a mini version of this and there's also an XL and I've got to say that that XL version must be huge but the action really nice deployment comes out of there very nicely as well a deep carry clip and another thing I have to mention about this knife is whoever was doing the edges at Kaiser on that day they bought their aim a game because this thing is super sharp really sharp I think it'd be good for you know you could even do a bit of kitchen prep with it chopping up onions or chopping garlic really fine or something like that but yeah interesting knife again from Kaiser now this next knife really took me by surprise this is the Dan Designs Wraith and that's in white G10, 14C28N blade steel. And yeah, I'm, I'm quite blown away by how good this thing is. Really snappy action. It's quite substantial. You've got a big, uh, big thick G10 scales there. Uh, pretty aggressive jimping there on the spine my thumb just lands on so you know get a really good grip there I think if you wanted to use this for hard use it for hard use I think you certainly could it does come in black as well um, because that white is probably gonna dirty up very quickly and this is I think it's actually the cheapest knife of all these that I've got here as well and I'm just amazed at the value I mean that that action's phenomenal it just flies out of there, drops, drops sharp. And I would say if you're looking for a knife you want to use and thrash, but you don't want to spend too much money, um, this I think cost me $109 Australian, which you know, is cheaper than a lot of Civivis and the like out there. And you're getting a, a, lot, of, a lot of knife here really good quality knife as well and look there's there's just one thing here in the in the uh choil in the finger choil there is a bit of chipping on that g10 i don't know if it's the way it was machined or something like that that's basically the only thing that i've found that there's any problem with this knife but just amazed at um yeah at just how good this is for the money and that, that's a very big chonky blade that's uh, that came with a pretty decent edge as well so if you're looking for a cheap hard use folder check out the Dan Designs Wraith there's also there's another model they do with a Tanto grind as well I can't remember the name of it I'll put it on the screen but um, yeah this thing's a really good knife for the money this is the Grambo Knives Assetto and I'm actually going to do a separate video on this. I, th I think it deserves it. Uh, if you've not heard of Grambo, uh, it's named after a, an Australian guy called Kane Grambo, who is a spare time knife design designer. And this thing's a front flipper. It's made by Best Tech, who also produce the Vero engineering knives that we looked at first up. And this thing is, um, this is beautiful. Titanium scales, frame lock obviously. We've got an M390 blade there with a hollow grind, really nicely done. And yeah, I'm I'm very, very impressed with this as well. And this really does deserve its own separate video, I think. Oops, let's try this. Always on camera, always get a bit of stage fright. But yeah, front flipper only, but still the action on it is phenomenal. I'm going to do a separate video on this because it's um, it's a really nice knife. All right, if you made it this far through the video, thanks a lot for watching. If you have anything to say, just reach out. Also, check out my Instagram as well. I put stuff up on there from time to time. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next one.